Hello friends, so today in this video we are going to learn quick essential points that are must revise before your exam. So starting with this quick concise video here. Uh, there are other Final Punch videos that are available in the Medsynapse app by Dr. Nikita, Final Punch 1 to Final Punch 6 and you have Final Punch 7 available on the same YouTube channel as well. So starting with the important points, first here, very very important, you know that in pathology, hemat is very important. So whenever you have this increased bleeding time with increased APTT, remember it is two things which are prolonged, the BT telling you platelets are affected plus APTT something related to intrinsic pathway. I hope you remember the mnemonic happy and wept. So remember two things, this is V, so this is going to be Fawn Willebrand disease where both of them are increased. Now in Fawn Willebrand disease type 1 is the most common and type 3 is the most severe because here it is Fawn Willebrand factor free. There is complete absence of the Fawn Willebrand uh, factor. So 1 and 3 are quantitative defects and 2 is qualitative defect in Fawn Willebrand factor. This has been asked in recent exam. The inheritance for Fawn Willebrand disease is autosomal dominant remember fawn one the story of a tall man and a short man we have seen in short shot so that is autosomal dominant when you have increased platelets uh, increased bleeding time with big platelets giant platelets remember big big platelets bb is going to be bernard solier syndrome bernard solier ad this is platelet adhesion defect Glansman, remember Glansman's is G, it is platelet aggregation defect. When you have abnormal Ristocetin aggregation test, so actually this is not platelet aggregation, this is platelet adhesion defect which is there. So Fawn Willebrand disease and Bernard Solier are going to be two conditions where the adhesion is defective. The Fawn Willebrand factor helps in platelet adhesion. So if this is getting normalized after adding serum, this is going to be Fawn Willebrand disease. If not, then it is going to be Bernard Solier disease. It does not normalize after adding normal serum. Going to next one, thyroid cancer. Where do you have this BRAF mutation? All these points are based on the recently asked questions in your exam. So BRAF mutation, remember it is BRAF is bro, mama, samoma, orphan, Annie, and you have papa, that is papillary thyroid cancer. So papa, Mama, orphan Annie, and bro, that is BRAF mutation. Remember, this is radiation induced thyroid cancer, is papillary and it shows lymphatic spread with the big lymph nodes called as aberrant lateral thyroid. Okay, aberrant lateral thyroid, this is lymphatic spread, which is common here. Pulsatile bone metastasis is seen with follicular thyroid carcinoma. Remember, follicular is vascular metastasis vascular spread vas is ras you see ras mutation in follicular coming to cml translocation that we see is translocation 922 that is philadelphia chromosome translocation 922 the first drug of choice in cml is imatinib right the first drug of choice is imatinib which is also used in gist Coming to some important translocations, translocation 15, 17, remember 3, 5s are 15, this is AML subtype M3, which is called as pro-myelocytic leukemia, PML, 3 is 3 word DIC, which is common in AML M3, you see phagot cell, multiple or rods, 14, 18, 14 follows 18, so follows is follicular carcinoma, FO is 1O, that is CD10 positive. It has waxing waning lymph nodes. 11, 14, two siblings, 11 and 14, fighting all the times, making the parents go mental. So mental cell lymphoma. The parents head uh, chakraophys like a cycle. So there is cyclin D1 overexpression, which is seen in mental cell lymphoma. Translocation 8, 14, 2, 8, 8, 22, all 8, 8 with the even number. This is seen in Burkitt's lymphoma. Remember B is like 8. So 8 chromosome Y because on chromosome 8 we have the gene CMIC which is involved in Burkitt's starry sky appearance. Remember Burkitt's bur bur -ke stars in Burkitt's. Lung cancer TTF1, Napsin A. So A and 1 is adenocarcinoma. 
okay this is positive for adenocarcinoma hypercalcemia remember is seen in squamous cell carcinoma of the lung squamous is hypercalcemia small cell lung cancer scl has scl siadh cushing's and lambert eaton these are paraneoplastic syndromes with small cell lung cancer peripheral one remember squamous and small cell sir so, sir so they are central peripheral is adenocarcinoma and in the non smokers adenocarcinoma is more common p40 p63 keratin pearls pp keratin is squamous epithelium so remember squamous cell carcinoma is going to be this positive chromogranin synaptophysin cd56 synapse granules this is neurovala small cell lung cancer is positive for this azopardi effect again is small cell lung cancer and lipidic growth is adenocarcinoma growth along the alveoli coming to celiac disease celiac disease is hla dq2 dq8 wheat dq2 wheat 8q2 right so remember 2 and 8 dq2 dq8 wheat is not to be eaten gluten free diet should be there in histopath you see villi which get atrophied crypts hyperplasia and intraepithelial lymphocytes antibodies are anti ttg tissue transglutaminase anti endomycial and anti gliadin antibodies it is associated with dermatitis herpetiformis d4d what do you give there is dapso coming to if there is pan acinar emphysema what deficiency alpha 1 anti trypsin deficiency right which can also affect the liver and what do you see the stain positive this is pas positive diastase resistant okay pas positive diastase resistant in the liver is alpha 1 anti trypsin deficiency prader willi is it paternal deletion or maternal remember prader willi is pd it is paternal deletion so opposite maternal imprinting whatever is the imprinting that is the disomy it is maternal disomy opposite is angelmans so these are disorders of genomic imprinting chromosome 15 is affected right remember chromosome 15 the family of 15 wala father is prader willi mother is angel angelman tall son is marfan and fair daughter is albinism so these are present on chromosome 15 renal cell carcinoma with cerebellar mass cerebellar hemangioblastoma if you are seeing right so you are thinking of what condition it is one hippel linda chromosome 3p right one hippel linda colonic polyps with brain tumor brain wearing the turban over the brain turban is turcots okay that is going to be turcots what is the role of interleukin 8 in ards remember 8 is like two faces two circles coming close together attracting each other this is like a chemo attracted attracting the neutrophils recruiting the neutrophils okay it recruits the neutrophils interleukin 8 in ards going to next one pnh paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria what is the inheritance it is an acquired disorder right it is not genetic it is acquired piga gene is affected gpi link proteins are affected it is intravascular it is hemoglobin urea intravascular hemolysis the gold standard investigation is flow cytometry why because you are looking for cd marker so cd55 cd59 deficiency right similarly for cll you do flow cytometry to look for combined to look for uh, combined CD5, CD23 both positive is CLL. So there also you do flow cytometry. The sucrose lysis test is the screening test, not the confirmatory test. And the most common cause of death is thrombosis. Okay, thrombosis is the most common cause of death. This is recently asked question. Few important genes: fibrillin, 15 chromosome wala, Marfan, me fibrillin is affected. right it's a tall patient with arachnodactyly the arm span is more than the height and there is aortic dissection mitral valve prolapse pigeon chest elastin everything elevated in williams right elevated calcium supravalvular aortic stenosis elfin facies elel everything seen in williams fgfr3 is affected in achondroplasia right a dwarf short stature Uh, with trident hand achondroplasia cftr cf is cystic fibrosis 
where you have CFTR, which is chloride channel, which is affected. Chromosome number 7, autosomal recessive. It is delta F508 that you see here. The drugs used in cystic fibrosis, Kaftor wale drugs, CFTR, CFTR, Kaftor drugs. Out of that, which is a potentiator. Remember, EVA is potent, right? So, that is EVA Kaftor is a potentiator, right? Similarly, we have seen EVA is funny. In pharmacology, what is that EVA is funny? EVA Bredin. Very, very important anti anginal drug EVA Bredin. When do you use it? Especially when the heart rate is more than 70, even after using a beta blocker in a patient of heart failure. So, when the indication is when the heart rate is more because it acts on the EVA is funny. So, it acts on the funny current in the SA node and decreases the heart rate. So, that is when we use EVA Bredin. Right? <coughs> going to some important images here right the multiple or rods tells you this is aml this is phagot cell phagot cell is aml subtype m3 pml where you see dic what do you see here vacuolated appearance jaw swelling this is what lymphoma this is Burkitt's lymphoma so you can get an image of starry sky appearance or the vacuolated appearance like this with a jaw swelling Burkitt's <clears throat> iron metabolism very very important so iron metabolism very very important remember the iron is absorbed in the ferrous state that is fe2 plus so what converts this ferric to ferrous is ferri reductase then this fe2 plus is transported by dmt1 divalent metal transporter on the luminal side right so from the intestinal lumen it is going into the intestinal cell then uh, you have this uh, Fe2 plus which is taken out into the blood by this ferropotent. So ferropotent pours this uh, ferrous ion into the blood and then this ferrous is converted to ferric very important by Hephaestin on the basolateral side here and it is a ferric form which is bound to transferrin. Right? So ferropotent is what is getting the ion from the liver, from the intestine, from the macrophages into the blood. And what inhibits this ferropotent is hepcidin inhibits ferropotent, right? Hepcidin inhibits ferropotent. So when there is already enough ion in the blood, we don't want more than the hepcidin comes in. Remember, hepcidin is a positive acute phase reactant, right? So ion transport important. What is this breast tumor which has this leaf-like appearance? Leaf is phylo. Phylo is phyloid's tumor which has this leaf-like appearance. Then you have this uh, what is this this is multiple myeloma which is mott cell what is the other thing that you see russell bodies and ditcher bodies that you see in multiple myeloma ben stones proteinuria igm spike that you see there uh, right m spike is what you see in multiple myeloma echinocytes versus acanthocytes remember acantho means spine so more uh uh, spinous spinous appearance pointed appearance that you have that is going to be acanthocytes where do you see acanthocytes a for a a beta lipoproteinemia which leads to fat soluble vitamin deficiency steatorrhea so vitamin a deficiency there can be retinitis pigmentosa that can be there steatorrhea with retinitis pigmentosa is a beta lipoproteinemia what do you see in the biopsy is very very important lipid laden enterocytes the defect is, is in microsomal mttp microsomal triglyceride transfer protein defect is there right so except htl which is not a beta lipoprotein rest are decreased here and when you see more rounded projections equally spaced remember equal spaced is echinocytes Okay, that is echinocytes, also called as Burr cells. Remember, UR, UR, it is seen in uremia. That is renal failure. Burr cells are seen, that is echinocytes, right? So, that was about the quick uh, review here, which is very, very important. So, hardly 15 minutes. Please make sure you revise this and wishing you all the best uh, for your upcoming exam, guys. And remember, let your desire and your imagination go in sync you desire to get a good score and a good rank so please imagine that when they go in sync that is what becomes a reality that is what is manifestation do not imagine uh, 
anything negative right so make sure that till your exam is done your desire and imagination are in sync wishing you all the best thank you so much for rest of the final punch videos do watch it on the medsynapse app by dr nikita they are available for free on the medsynapse app thank you